Hey guys, what is up? Davis here. And today I'm just going to be going over how to basically send money through PayPal and not get scammed because like I've seen so many so many people get scammed over the internet and I'm I'm just really tired of it. And I don't like scammers. I don't want anything to do with them. Um you know, so I'm trying to get rid of them as best as I can and help people out, you know. But um I was scammed out of a a slim it was a guy over in Canada um, it was a slim RGH I sent him the money or he sent me the money it was two hundred and fifty dollars and then I had to ship it which cost me about forty so it was about two ninety uh, he, he I sent him the Xbox he paid me he sent it as friends and family and then um, it, it got past about the Canada the guy passed customs or whatever and then he opened the transaction against me on PayPal and basically he got his money back and I lost the Xbox and I couldn't cancel the shipment because it, it was already past the customs line and it was already in Canada so you know guys I don't want you guys I don't want y'all to get scammed like I did and I mean I, I know a lot of people I know a lot of people that actually bought from me and they got scammed from a few people that I exposed on Instagram, but um, yeah, I'm actually gonna trust you guys with, you know, seeing my information kind of thing. Um, I'm gonna block some of all this, some of the stuff out because it's like, you don't need to see most of it because some of them are people that paid me and everything. But um, I'm just going to, I'm gonna send a payment to my mom's account, and then I'm gonna show you guys how the payment should look and everything and you know you need you, you cannot send payments as friends and family like there's there's no way like um if you send the payment as friends and family you're not going to be covered by paypal being the buyer or the seller you're not going to be covered and basically if you send a payment as friends and family um you know it's the buyer could come back at you uh, if, if you're the seller and the buyer sends you a payment as friends and family the buyer could get their item and then the buyer could open up a transaction against you and say that he never got the item and even if you have the tracking number to prove that you shipped it and that he got the item it's not covered by PayPal because um, basically when I got scammed from uh, the guy in Canada, I had the tracking number to prove that I that he got this item, and I called him like like ten times, and I'm like, yo, I got the tracking number, and he received his item, and I want my money back, and they said no, it's it's basically a loss of money. That's what they told me, and you know that, that's that's pretty sad of PayPal because, you know, I'm I'm the seller, I'm doing, I'm an honest seller, and. They want to say that oh it's just a loss of money so um you know i was pretty pissed but uh i just don't want you guys getting scammed so just don't send don't send the money as friends and family um if you have sent the money as friends and family and you got scammed and it's not been over i think it's 90 days then you can go and open up a transaction against that scammer and you can get your money back now if this is like Amazon or something like that then you're screwed so um, this is basically only PayPal stuff that I'm showing what I usually do if you guys ever bought from me I usually send you guys like a, this long list and I I have it detailed and I'm like uh, please make sure you have the correct shipping address please make sure all this stuff you know and basically if you have say if a buyer sends you money and he has a wrong shipping address on his PayPal and you change that shipping address and ship it to a different one that is that is not on the transaction you're not covered by PayPal so they could open up a claim against you and they could say um, you know I never got my item and then they look at that tracking number PayPal will PayPal will look at that tracking number and they're gonna be they're gonna say Oh no, he didn't get his item because it was shipped to the something different on his um something different than what was on the transaction. Just make sure your address is correct and do not send the payment as friends and family.
just those two you need to get those right so um, yeah make sure your address is right make sure you do not send as friends and family those are like the two main important things and um, alright guys so uh, I know a lot of you guys sell KVs and you sell say like a download code something that you're not going to ship basically you help somebody on the computer doing something removing viruses or you know some, something like that yeah, that you that you're not going to ship and somebody wants to pay you through PayPal I'm gonna show you guys exactly what to do and how to not get scammed when you sell like KVs and uh, digital download stuff and stuff that you're not gonna ship basically I'm gonna go here and I'm re you're gonna click manage invoices and once before I click this uh, I want to tell you guys you can't you can't do any of this I would I would recommend you doing it on your computer because it's like it's a whole lot easier um I don't think you can do all this on a on like a mobile device or nothing but we're gonna click manage invoices and this is gonna pull up and we're gonna click request money and we're gonna request it here and I'm gonna type in my mom's email And you're gonna this is you're gonna type in the email not this one but you know you're gonna type in the the buyer's email and you're gonna just ignore that um, and you're gonna type in the amount I'm just gonna say 0.50 which is 50 cents and this is the part um, if you're shipping something you're gonna click goods because you're basically it's basically an item that somebody's gonna ship to you so you need to click goods or um, if it's a, if it's like a digital download something that you're not gonna ship which I just explained you're gonna click services so basically after you click services and you got all that right click continue alright so after you click that it's gonna say all this right here and it says please note that you'll be charged a small fee when you receive this payment which the payment is going the payment request is going to this email right here which is the buyer so um, we're gonna you can type in a message I usually say something like thank you um, PayPal money request sent you could change that if you want to I'm just gonna leave it the same we're gonna click request money and your money has been sent or money request has been sent so um, I'm gonna log out and I'm gonna go to my mom's account now just to show you guys what I mean guys okay, so now that we're in my mom's account um, you see it's from me it says Davis Huffman we're gonna click that and as you can see it gives you all my details my email Melissa Huffman which is my mom status pending you will see this payment all that stuff so I'm gonna click pay now click continue as you can see it said services right there and as you can see here's your invoice so it's saying you know you get one whatever it is um, shipping address which um, if, if this is your you can change it, it says you can change it right there. But this is my correct shipping address right here. Um, and you just click pay now and it'll pay it. So if we go back to PayPal, but I'm gonna log out and I'm gonna go to my account. All right, and as you can see, uh, I got the payment from my mom and it says you got it's plus point nineteen, and it doesn't say print a shipping label or nothing, but it said it gives you their address, and it says seller is eligible, or seller protection eligible, which means you're going to be covered by PayPal. So that is basically how you sell stuff and not get scammed, and that's basically selling stuff that you're not going to ship. Alright, guys. So this next part, I'm going to show you guys how to sell something that you're going to ship without getting scammed by the buyer. We're going to go up here to send and request money. And 
said, you don't want to do this one. I love how it's the first one, because basically PayPal wants you to, to use this one. But here's something for you guys to know. Nobody is your friend, and so remember that. You don't want to use this one at all. Uh, so you're going to pay for goods and services. Since I'm the seller, I'm going to request the money. You're going to type in their email. And then I'm going to do like point 0.1. Okay, that's good enough. Request money. Request has been sent. So uh, if we go back to summary now, it didn't pull up, but it'll say up here at the top, it'll say request has been sent or request sent to Melissa Huffman or whoever the buyer is. So I'm going to log out of here. I'm going to go to my mom's account now. And as you can see, it says um, it's pending a request from me, which I'm the seller, and this is the buyer. So, um, so I'm gonna click. Actually, if you click on this, I think it'll just yeah, it's gonna give you more details. So if we click pay now, and as you can see, it says goods. Remember last one, it said services. So click continue. and here's the address again which is correct so just one more thing I'm gonna tell you guys again make sure that the shipping address for the for the buyer is correct if it's not correct and then the buyer is like hey can you change my address to this address because the one on PayPal is cor not correct don't do it because they could scam you so I mean if you guys aren't gonna listen to me then it's it's not my fault at least I tried to explain to you guys how to help you but just make sure that this address is right before you send the money so um, I'm gonna click pay now and as you can see it says thanks for your order so we're gonna go back to PayPal overview and it still says pending but I'm gonna sign out of here Alright, and as you can see, it says Melissa Huffman print shipping label. Which the reason why I did it that way is because if you guys have a business like me, you know, you can just print the shipping label like that. It pays the money through PayPal, and then all you gotta do is print the label, stick it on the box, and then drop it off at the post office. So, um, yeah, it says okay to ship to. If it doesn't say okay to ship to, don't ship it yet. If it says something like, um, pending like the money is pending and it says don't ship then don't ship it because you're not going to be protected so but if it says okay to ship to then you're you sh you're good um but see right here what this is what i was talking about eligible when you ship to the address on this page save your tracking number so yeah guys you you must ship to this address on the paypal transaction if you don't then you're not covered that's basically what it just said right there that's really all for this video. I mean, I can't really show you guys that much more, but just remember, don't send it as friends and family, and make sure your address is right. So yeah, guys, peace out.